Shanti and you're watching me on my YouTube channel, The Layavi. Today's video is going to be all about eyeshadow blending, how you can get a little bit better and I am going to be walking you through the steps that's required to achieving this blue eye makeup look that I have on my eyelids. Just a huge disclaimer out there, I'm not a makeup expert or a pro. These are the steps that I feel confident enough throughout my YouTube journey and the time that I've spent learning a little bit and practicing with makeup to the point where I feel confident enough to share and show how I do my eye makeup look so please do not hate me on the comment section down below and if you're newly watching me in this video for the first time then please do consider subscribing by clicking the subscribe button down this video and click on the bell icon next to it just so that you stay updated whenever I have new video uploads going up on my channel without any further ado, let's get into it so right now we're going to be beginning working on this left eye over here I have my right eye completed so I'm going to be walking you through the steps on how you can achieve the other eye to look quite similar as this one because the purpose of this video is to show and share with you how you would be blending eyeshadow out for beginners so the first step is to have a good eyelid primer only because it kind of like uh, cancels out any discoloration veining that's going on on your eyelid color on your eyelid space as well as to give a very nice blank canvas for you to start working on building up the eyeshadow colors and they kind of make the eyeshadows look true to their form so i'm going to be using something that i've been using on my channel for such a long time right now this is the max soft ochre paint pot i'm just going to be using my ring finger taking a little bit of this product over here just about this much i'm going to lay the eyelid primer down just to have an even amount of coverage of eyelid primer all across the lid from lash line to the brow bone. So you see that it immediately cancels out any darkness, discoloration, veinings that may have been present on my eyelid. You gotta set this down with a powder of your choice. It can be a compact powder, loose powder. I think I wanna just use some face com compact face powder. Oh my god. Uh, I want to use this fluffy blending brush over here. This is from Sephora. This is a crease shadow brush in number 73. It's nice and fluffy. And this kind of bristled um, white flat bristle brush is good to distribute the product over and it's not specifically meant for product placement because of its um, fluffy appearance. I'm going to be using the Sephora's Micro Smooth Baked Face Compact. Just taking a little bit the excess off and setting the eyelid primer down and this helps to remove any stickiness I'm going to be using the same brush over here and I have a little bit of uh, kitchen towel and I'm just going to be taking a clean kitchen towel and removing any color that I may have had on the brush you see I have a little bit of the color which is the big face compact from Sephora so now we are ready to use a little bit of eyeshadows that are going on top of this base that we have created so far for this makeup look i actually wanted to use something that i've not been i've been wanting to use an eyeshadow palette that i've not been using for quite a while yes this is the 35 warm palette i do like how it actually has a huge variety of matte colors to choose from you can actually come up with different eye makeup looks using this one palette there are 35 colors for a base i'm going to be using the same crease shadow brush from sephora and i'm going to be taking the first color over here so this is going to be the first color that i'm placing on my eyelid and again i'm placing it all over the space and this kind of helps to blend up the darker colors that are going on top of one another because if you're going to be just using for example going straight with this color it can be quite hard to blend the color out because of its intensity so a general rule of thumb is to build up the color as you go it's just like putting on foundation so you want to work with a little bit at a time i'm going to be taking this medium color and i'm going to be placing this color just above my crease when i look down i see this little line that runs across my eyelid when i look up that's where the skin has this natural fold and that's that's what the crease is i'm going to be placing the color just above it and I've also noticed with practice where I place my hands on the brush plays a vital role in blending so now I have been just 
using the brush like this as opposed to last time probably I would use it differently but I've definitely noticed how my blending game has changed tremendously by holding the brush like this especially flicking the pinky out and if you're not sure and you're new to blending and eye, eye makeup look you can always do a shape have a look at yourself in the mirror and see if that's where you want to have the color placement and continue building the color up as you go it's not very obvious but there is a slight definition i'm going to be taking this brown shade over here with the same brush have the excess off and i'm going to be placing it slightly below where i've actually placed the crease color concentrating the color over here and this gives a tiniest bit of color and depth and because i've been using the same blending brush to put on all three shades i feel like it kind of helps to diffuse the color now i'm going to be using a different brush this is the morphe m139 this is somewhat a little bit tapered but yet it also helps to blend up the color as well as place it where you want it precisely i'm going to be taking this purple over here and i'm just concentrating it on the ends and the beginning of the eye professional makeup services done for yourself you will notice that the makeup artist would probably lift a little bit of your eyelid area with the help of a sponge or a finger and they place the color like this way so that they have a better look at the crease and placement will be much better next i'm going to be using a pigment from nyx this is the shade constellation which is a very bright blue and for precise shadow placement you're going to be using a brush that is specifically made for precise placement i'm going to be using the zoeva's 237 detail shader brush there is a reason why it's called the detail shader so it looks somewhat like this i'm just going to be taking a little bit of the product and always build up as you go and i'm placing it where i want the color to be at it's darkest first and i'm not rubbing the color i am just simply patting the color in and this makes a huge difference reduces the amount of fallout now i'm going to be attempting to bridge the color across the crease i'm also using the same brush not only to place the color once i place the color i'm attempting to smudge it out and later on we can actually go and intensify the color further wherever you want to have a little bit more pigmentation going back with the same brush with no product i'm just going to be lightly running this over to mesh the colors together and i'm slightly slanting the brush sideways so that it smudges with minimal effort so now for the main space i need space i'm going to be using the catrice liquid mental eyeshadow in 120 satina van der woodson it looks somewhat like this it's a beautiful champagne shade i'm taking it with my pinky a little bit of product and tap it now all we gotta do is take the same detail shader brush and go back with a little more blue and mesh the ends of the shadow together so that it's not too obvious see when i look straight up at the uh, camera my eyelid folds actually kind of makes the work that i've done on my eyelid space disappear if you want to, you can actually create an all new crease by yourself. You can do a little bit of cut crease and then raise the crease a little higher. So I'm going to be taking the same pigment for my lower lash line. I'm just cleaning the, the Sephora crease brush with, on the palm of my hand to remove any excess product. And I'm lightly, lightly running it on the edges of the darker bolder eyelid color because if i were to blend it in a upward motion it will bring the color upwards and i just want to have the color over there but i want a little bit of softness because right now it's looking a little too, you can actually go back with a little bit of color and intensify the crease I'm taking the same darkest brown shade that we use for the crease and now all I want to do is just finish up the eyes. That's it for this week's video guys. I really hope you enjoyed watching this step-by-step -step eyeshadow blending guide. And if you like this video then please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and if you're not subscribed already please do so. Links will be down in the info bar below and do not forget to click on the bell icon next to it just so that you will be notified whenever I have new video uploads and I will see you in my next week's video. Bye guys!